The images are still stunning. A NASA rover right there on another planet. And now the next monumental moment of the mission is about to begin. With the Ingenuity helicopter, a drone really, successfully touching down on the surface of Mars. The delicate process involved the experimental mini chopper swinging down from the belly of the Perseverance rover flipping from a horizontal position to a vertical one, deploying its four legs, all before being dropped off on a patch of Martian soil. Now, ingenuity is being put to the test of surviving Martian nights, where temperatures can drop as low as negative 130 degrees Fahrenheit. To do that, the four-pound helicopter will both power and heat itself using onboard solar panels and internal heaters. Mimi Ong is the helicopter's project manager. You know, we've tested it, uh, and analysis show it will, but really doing it for the first time. Huge milestone. Up next will be more pre-flight checks, preparing for the challenge of actually flying on Mars. Challenging atmosphere, 99% less dense than Earth's. Engineers developed a special twin rotor system that could provide the necessary lift to get airborne, with blades spinning roughly five times faster than a conventional helicopter's. And the mini chopper also has to control itself in flight, making 500 tiny adjustments every second. Secret sauce, a startup for Mars helicopter. Make the blaze as big as possible, spin as fast as you can, and make it as light as possible. Already, the rover Perseverance has sent back images of the red barren landscape. And listen closely to the wind. Perhaps mere glimpses of what could come if the chopper is able to take flight. Being able to fly will allow us to access places that are simply not accessible today. You know, sites of very steep cliff and down in the craters. Also this morning, NASA reports more seismic activity on Mars. Not earthquakes, but Mars quakes. A seismometer on InSight, a lander that's been on the red planet since 2018, has picked up evidence of two new quakes. Research into what's causing the tremors on Mars remains ongoing. NASA previously captured evidence of active landslides in that same region. And Tom, back to Ingenuity, if all goes well with the test flights, how much of a difference will it make in sending humans to Mars? So the goal ultimately would be to use these drones out ahead of human missions to explore ice caps or canyons or rugged remote terrain and have have sensors on the drones so that they can they can feed back the information to astronauts. Exactly. You know, we're talking 20 years down the road or so. That's the goal. This first flight is scheduled for Sunday night, Monday morning. So we'll probably be reporting on this a week from this, this morning. Cool. Mars wow. quakes. Ooh, love that. No. Mars quakes. <laughs> cool. Right, Mar Tom? Mars yeah. weren't. Not an earthquake. It's Mars. Mars wind Mars and quake. fire. Yeah. <laughs> Think of all the different. Oh, yeah. there you go. Okay. Oh, well, anyway. They were in verses last nerd. night. I said yeah. my own nerdiness. You see that? Like, That's right. They're the Isley brothers. Oh, that was a good one. Uh, thank you, Tom. Tom. Thank That's you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.